You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace a number of royal family members, officials, intellectuals, journalists and businessmen as well as a number of citizens. His Royal Highness hailed the important role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in maintaining regional and international security and stability and its efforts in defending the Arab and Islamic issues. He also stated that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, supports all the efforts of Saudi Arabia in serving Arabs and Muslims and enhancing global peace and stability. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries focused their efforts in developing and improving their countries and in devoting all their energy to serving their people. He also added that the GCC countries hadn't only combated the dangers that threatened them, but also those threatening other Arab and Islamic nations believing in common destiny. The Prime Minister confirmed that His Majesty always aims to develop the Kingdom of Bahrain to solidify its relations with other countries and to raise its status regionally and globally, and that succeeded in improving the Kingdom's reputation and position. His Rohan has also praised global dialogue forums and conferences that enhance cooperation between countries. His Rohan has reviewed a number of topics relating to regional and international developments, expressing regret about the destruction in some Arab countries caused by tensions and conflicts.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the Glebia Palace today. The Thai Ambassador to Bahrain, Chai Pan Bamrong Phon, His Royal Highness lauded the positive outcomes of the official talks held between the Bahraini delegation headed by the Prime Minister and the Thai delegation headed by his counterpart. He also praised the outcomes that resulted from the Asia Cooperation Dialogue, which enhanced ties between the GCC countries and Thailand. The Thai Ambassador highlighted that His Royal Highness's recent visit is considered a historic one due to his initiatives to strengthen the Asian relations. His Rohan has highlighted a number of topics regarding the bilateral cooperation as well as the importance of carefully executing agreements that would benefit the two countries and their people. His Rohan has also cited the role of the late monarch of Thailand, His Majesty King Bomapol Adolyadej, and the pivotal role he played as a national symbol of preserving the country's unity, stability, and development. The Thai ambassador expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness's condolences, which reflect the strong ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has received today at Glebia Palace the former Prime Minister of Burkina Faso, members of the Jury of the Isa Award for Humanitarian Service, Yusuf Drago. His Royal Highness assured that the Kingdom of Bahrain extends its cooperation and develops its coordination in various fields with other friendly countries, whether bilaterally or globally. The Prime Minister noted that the Isa Award for Humanitarian Service, considering it an initiative adopted by Bahrain and the humanitarian fields, which confirms its desire to support all efforts to achieve the best interest for humanity. The Deputy Premier and President of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, ICT, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, patronized in the presence of the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, officials and businessmen, the launch of a host of tourism e services at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. In a statement, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak expressed delight at launching tourism e services, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Ministry, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, the PTEA, and the officials in charge of the new e-services. He stressed that the new services will boost the tourism sector and develop it, which will help achieve the economic vision for Bahrain 2030, explaining that the e-services will reduce costs, save time, motivate tourists, and promote the kingdom's tourism and hotel services. He affirmed that developing e-services in the kingdom is no longer an option amid the rapid ICT growth across the world. The Deputy Premier thanked and appreciated the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister and all who gave the presentations during the ceremony wishing the tourism sector further success. Zayani delivered a statement in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Premier for launching tourism e-services. He said that the move affirms the commitment of the industry ministry, including BTEA, to keep pace with the modern technological development and turn into an electronic system regarding the services delivered to the Kingdom's visitors.
five electronic programmes initiated by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, were launched today. They include a new and improved BTEA website and a smartphone app designed to help tourists visiting Bahrain know where to go and what to do. Also, the calendar.ph website was debuted. It lists by date all of the various events going on in the kingdom, whether organised by public or private entities. The centrepiece of the e-services launch today is the Hospitality Electronic System, connecting hotels with the BTEA to provide live statistical data on KPIs such as occupancy rates, average length of stay and demographics like the nationality of visitors. The five integrated electronic programmes launched today have taken considerable time, effort and coordination with entities like Bahrain's e-government authority to develop. For instance, the statistics uh, programme took almost two years to develop. It's not an easy process at all, uh, but we're glad to have uh, to launch all five together today. Uh, and again, uh, the tourism sector is not just the authority by itself. You need to coordinate with all related parties to make sure all info is, uh, is available. The next step is to develop these e-services further, to the point where they are all in app form and to continue developing convenient e-services for residents, tourists and businesses that enhance the tourism sector and economy as a whole. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. The Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized the final ceremony and honored the winners of Bahrain ITF Juniors Tennis Championship 2016. The event was attended by His Majesty's Advisor for Youth and Sports Affairs, Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi, and Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodha. The Deputy Premier welcomed the participants in Bahrain's ITF Juniors Tennis Championship 2016, which attracted tennis players from 48 countries. He stressed the importance of the tournament, underlining Bahrain's strides in promoting the sport, which is supported by the international. National Tennis Federation. He then honored Hala Fuad and presented her with a championship trophy and also honored other winners. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, laid the foundation stone for the biggest project in the region, IKEA. Sheikh Khalid stated that the next stage will be marked by big strategic projects reflecting the government's policy of attracting investments and facilitating the investors' direct reception of all their requirements. He explained that the new projects will bring more job opportunities for citizens in various fields and direct contributions and benefits to the gross domestic product. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that along with the marked improvement in granting construction investment licenses, which increased to about 43 percent and the increase of the estimated costs in construction those projects to about 3.5 million dollars Bahrain has substantial advantages that make it a favored option among investors including its location and its developed infrastructure the deputy prime minister hailed Ghassan Ahmed Al Sleiman furniture group the region's concessionaire for IKEA for making investments in Bahrain reaching up to 125 million dollars including this project that will be launched in 2018 he also highlighted the importance of this project to the local economy Economy, which reflects the cohesion between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, emanating from the solid historical relations between them.
His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the reception held by the Turkish Ambassador to Bahrain, Hatun Dermir, at the Diplomat Hotel, marking Turkey's National Day. Also present were senior government officials, diplomats, and guests. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa conveyed greetings from His Royal the Prime Minister and wishes of continued progress and prosperity to the Turkish people. They also underlined the standing relations between the two countries and their people. For his part, or for her part rather, the Turkish ambassador thanked the Prime Minister for his keen desire to boost the relations between the two countries. Under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Faika bin Tis'id al-Saleh, Project Handara for the re-engineering of administrative processes and simplifying health certification procedures to practice business activities under health surveillances was inaugurated. The project offers simplified operations focused on serving individuals, the proper use of resources, increasing flexibility and the ability to adapt to change integration between individuals, technology and organizational culture. The Minister of Health affirmed his Rohanis' keenness in the project in order to raise the level of governmental bodies' performance as a confirmation of the coherence between governmental sectors that falls under the cooperation between the Civil Services Bureau and governmental bodies. The project is in line with Economic Vision 2030 of the Kingdom of Bahrain that addresses the challenges facing the health sector. To achieve comprehensive development, the minister noted that the ministry adopted many projects that require coherence between governmental and private sectors. The merge of public health inspectors and preparations of the comprehensive inspectors will increase the completion of licensing processes for shops by only one visit to the Public Health Department. Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,151.17 points, marking an increase of 3.01 points above last closing. This increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 69% of total shares. Results indicated that 37 transactions included 1,087,312 shares worth the value of 125,942 Bahraini dinars.